Okay, I'm going to show you how to create segment MN using Sketchpad. The first step in the direction says select the segment tool from the line palette. If you come over to the left and uh, take a look at your tools, we're going to use the line tool. If you click and hold it down, if you left click and hold it down, uh, you'll have a choice between the segment, the ray, and the line. We're going to choose the segment. Just go ahead and click, drag the mouse, click again. Um, and then it asks you to name it. To name it, you're going to use your text tool. Your text tool is this letter A here. You're going to click on each endpoint, each point there, and then you're going to change the points to MN. To do that, go back up here to your pointer, double click on the letter, and you can change that to M, and you can change this to N. And you're all set. Okay, to construct Ray RT using uh, Sketchpad, you're going to select the Ray tool from the line palette. Click on my line tool here, hold it down, select the second one, which is the Ray tool. You're going to make your Ray. Click on the text tool, and you're going to label the points R and then T. To change the letters again, you double click on the letters, change it to R, change it to T. Okay, to make right angle PRG, uh, here are the steps. The first step is make an angle using the ray tool. So I'm going to select my ray tool here, and I'm going to make an angle. And I'm going to change the name to PRG. So I'm going to name this guy. P R and G. And then we're going to measure it. To measure it, we're going to select the pointer, and you'll notice point G here is still selected. So I'm going to deselect it so nothing is highlighted. And I'm going to click on three points, making sure that my vertex angle is the second point. And then I'm going to choose from the menu option measure and then angle. So I'm going to measure the angle. And again, this only works if the vertex is that middle point there. I'm going to make it 90 degrees by playing with the side, so I'm just going to grab a point and see if I can manipulate this to be exactly 90. And you might be better than I, but I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to do. So it's pretty close to kind of fake it. What you can do is go to Properties, go to Value, and uh, change this to Tense or Units. If I change this to Tense, it should work out. And then we're going to call this a right angle. So. Use a caption here and say right. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm going to show you another way to make uh, a right angle. This time we're going to do right angle MQW. First, we're going to start by making a ray. My ray tool has already been selected here. I'll try again. My ray tool is already selected. And now I'm going to double click the endpoint. So I'm going to go to my pointer here and double click the endpoint of the ray. What that does is it marks this as our center of rotation. And then I'm going to select the ray. So let's see if I can select my ray and the point. And I'm going to go to the menu and choose Transform Rotate 90 Degrees. Transform Rotate 90 Degrees. So we're going to rotate by a fixed angle. The default is 90 degrees, about the center A, and we're good to go. It says then rename it to MQW. And then lastly, measure the angle. So let's see if I can slide this over here. Just kind of grab this and get this out of the way. Straighten it up a little bit. You'll notice that it's locked in at 90 degrees. And I'm going to change this to say MQW. So I'm going to change this one to say MQ and W. Uh, and then to measure the angle, again, you're going to select all three points, making sure the vertex is the second point. We're going to choose measure angle, and this way you'll always get 90 degrees exactly. Another little thing that you probably want to do is grab your marker tool, click on the vertex and drag into the angle, and it will snap it to that right angled marker, that box in the corner. 